Welcome back, folks, to the Lighthead Online Video Show. This episode of the show is brought to you by our friends at Keystone Technologies. Go to K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H dot com. That's right, the Keystone State. That's where they're at, Pennsylvania. All you got to do is go to K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H dot com. What's the reason why? Because it's light made easy, man. Do it now. Don't wait. Greg, what's up? Just listening to you. I was thinking about going to the Keystone website. But oh, we're recording. Let's it, go. Man. Come on, man. You got to go to that KeystoneTech.com. <laughs> Come on. Just get over there and see all the new and exciting things they have going. Man, those guys, they're the innovators, man. They're, I have to give it to I have to hand it to them, man. They just they listen to their customers, man. They come up with so many great products. I'm going longer than I'm allowed. Sorry, Scott Costa. I know you're, we're only supposed to go 30 to 45, but too bad. Keystone's a great company. So, you know my favorite issue in lighting is what? Dark sky. Oh, man. I just wish there, there – it's such a – you know, I've talked about it so many times. We've had so many podcasts about it. You see the fire in me for it. You know why I love it so much? Because I love to see the – I'm Canadian, man. I love the wilderness. I love to see the stars. I love that, the spirituality of lighting. And I love like when I see the Milky Way and the and uh, you know all the uh, constellations revealed to me and a nice night up north in Canada lying in a canoe at night getting bit by mosquitoes. And I just love it, man. I love that dark sky. And I just think, man, how can we offend our souls? Like our soul, like imagine our ancestors, imagine our ancestors. Okay. Okay. Let me ask you something. Why do you think our ancestors, all of them, would take their fattened calf and burn it and send the smoke up to the sky? Why would they do that? Because they respect what they're given with this guy. And no, they're... Yes, of course. Because yeah. when they went to bed at night and they looked up at the stars, they thought God has to be up there, man. Mm -hmm. Like that's where he's got to be, man. He's up there. So they're going to send burnt goat smoke up to God. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like think about what they're doing, right? Like that's what they're doing. They're burning. I'm gonna take that. That that lamb would be so tasty. Those lamb chops, man. Woo! That's a little veal lamb right there. That's a little goat lamb. I know what I'm gonna do. That one's for God. That's the best one. That one's for God. So we're gonna butcher him and we're gonna burn him and we're not gonna eat any of the meat. It's all gonna go to God. It's all gonna go up to those stars that we see at night. They're up there. You can't see him right now, but he's up there. He's up with those stars. And so I love that dark sky, man. And I hate, it's such an easy problem to solve. It's a knowledge problem. It's not a science problem. It's not a security problem. It's not an education problem. It's just a knowledge problem, man. And not doing dark sky is so offensive. But I, my company does it all the time because, and I know yours does too, uh -huh. because it's, it, it's, it's so hard for customers to take this seriously. And I want to change that, man. And so I believe that we are intelligent species. We're intelligent. We're imbued with consciousness and choice. And that's a dark sky choice, man. If you're smart, if you're intelligent, you got to choose the dark sky, bro. Come on, man. So tweet comes out the other day. Now, I know this is on NAED's website. We love NAED. We love the National Association of Electros. How many? We went to a couple of their conventions. What a great crew, man! I mean, the board sure. of directors, the management, Scott Costa, everybody at Ted Mag and Light Ted Mag. This is a this is a more than a couple notches above what what's happening at Nailed. I mean, they're way bigger. What a great organization, okay? Uh -huh. But and and they're not they're not exactly lighting people, but. A lot of our members emailed in about this tweet from this Mayor Ted Wheeler in Portland. Now, I know that there's been a lot going on in Portland lately. I don't think we want to get into that, do we? I would say no. <laughs> like, 
that guy's, I mean, I, I don't know if it was him or Seattle or what. It's like there's a lot of stuff going on in, in that Northwestern region with stuff. But um, he puts out this tweet saying, the Portlanders are encouraged to dim or turn off their lights for Lights Out Portland. Light pollution can, can be harmful to humans, plants, and other animals, including the birds who are beginning their migration. Thanks to Portland Autobahn for your, your advocacy and leadership. So, birds, you got one night. You better you got, migrate now. You got to move. Get Birdies, out. come on, man. Get over Portland. Get moving, birds. <laughs> get your ass in gear. And get out of that nest. Leave those chicks behind. Because the lights are only going to be off for one light in Portland. And then when after you're done over Portland, you beat that Oregon Trail and you get down to California, you're screwed again. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, and so a lot of the a lot of the uh, nailed members were asking me to. I think I think the tweet said, um, "I hate this guy. Light him up." <laughs> <laughs> That's from a distributor in the Pacific. Two distributors in the Pacific Northwest. I don't. Know, I can't remember which one said. Both of them were saying something like they don't like this guy. Um, I want to ask you. I know I've talked for six minutes almost ad nauseum here, but uh, I wanted to ask you. What do you think of these kinds of measures? Well, um, it's better than nothing. We'll start with that. At least it's it's something that is being thought about. But the idea of doing it for one night, I don't know what that does. Maybe it starts off the momentum to building it into something more. But you can't expect everyone to turn off their lights or dim it all the time because they need that lighting. Not not necessarily, but they some places will need some lighting at night. But what it comes down to is the right lighting. So if I'm him, um, you know, sure you could do that, and then dovetail off that and say, in addition to this, this is kind of the the kickoff to what we're going to be doing as implementing a dark sky compliant city or whatever we might want to say, and where we're actually going to go through and say, okay. If your fixture is not dark sky compliant, maybe we need to look at changing it or upgrading it um, to a dark sky compliant. Now, huge undertaking, way easier said than done. But if you really want to have an impact and you really care about the birds and the plants and the humans and the other animals, that's what you're going to have to do. I think it's way easier done than said. Yeah? I do, actually. Okay, how so? Because... He can't even say it right. Tonight, sure. Portlanders are encouraged. What does that mean? What is encourage? You're doing good, son. Everything's going to be okay. You know, those birds are dying all over the place. Those birds are dead. Turtles are rolling up, belly up. I mean, I'm just making the crap up here, but they're encouraged. Mm -hmm encouraged okay to dim or turn off their lights for lights out portland light pollution can no is is not can it is harmful um to humans plants and other animals including the birds those birdies those birds which birds right Da, da, da. Mm -hmm. This is nothing more than virtue signaling. Mayor Ted, uh, there's some there's some dark sky. Uh, there's some people out here. They're I don't know. They're environmentalists or something. You're into that, right? You like that? You want to yeah. align with those people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They vote for you. They vote for me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm into that environment thing. What's going on with that? Well, they're talking about dark sky. Oh, we're in the middle of like a riot season here. Like everyone's rioting everywhere. The police are a little bit tight. Uh, they want you to turn off all the lights tonight. Yes. Woo. What do you want me to do? You want me to turn off all the lights for the rioters? Like so they can ride in the dark? So nobody can see anything? 
Uh, you know, even I'm not that much of an idiot. I'm just going to say, okay, environmentalists, this is the best I got for you. We're going to encourage Portlanders, which nobody's going to do this in the midst of what's going on in Portland. Uh-huh. Like, only, I mean, I don't know where it's happening, but definitely where the, the stuff's going on. This guy is, this is the kind of stuff we need to get rid of from politicians. Virtue signaling. On um, placating. Well, we had a dark we had a dark sky night in nineteen ninety eight. I think almost every I think almost every third building in Toronto turned off fifty percent of their lights. Or something like this. No, man. That's not how we do it. That's not how you get anything done. Easier done than said. It's very difficult to say the right thing. It's very yeah. difficult to say, you know what, Portlanders, we need to change. Every single streetlight in Portland again, because we screwed it up. We need to get it right. And actually, it was my administration that put in those LED lights. I don't know if Ted Wheeler did or not. Okay. But it was actually my administration that did it. I'm just making up a hypothetical narrative. Like It's like, I thought we did the right thing when we changed all those lights to 6,500K daylight in the middle of the night. Like, we want a daylight in the middle of the night, right? We want to get rid of those HPS nasties. No, actually, that it, it turns out that that was not a good idea, and we should have done this. Oh, man. Okay, so how do we spin this so I still look good? I hate that, man. Uh-huh. Just come out and say it, what the truth is. Look, we got to do Dark Sky, and we're going to make it a priority for the city. We're going to rebate it or whatever. And we're going to do something different. Easier done than said. In my opinion. This has been the uh, Dark Sky Show. There's going to be a couple more of these coming out. Because I'm really getting sick of an issue that is so easy to solve. That is just a matter of... It's a matter of knowledge... And deployment has nothing to do with science, technology, or products. All the products we need already exist and are made right here in North America. And they're made in China. You just need to tell the people to make the right products. Because we're intelligent and we can do the right thing. In the meantime, go to Keystone Technologies. That's K-E-Y-S-T-O-N-E-T-E-C-H dot com, keystonetech.com, light made easy. Greg, the Retrovic Kings.